support us on Patreon to get access to member-exclusive benefits and first dibs on the latest Manchester United news. Hey, hey, hey guys, it's Old Man G here back again with another video for Red Devil Studio. And today um, we're going to talk about Fred actually um, and Fred's recent comments um, because Fred um, has said some interesting things um, to a Brazilian YouTube channel called The Solo where he speaks out some of the issues or problems at Manchester United, which we all know about. But before we go into those comments, if you're new to the channel, please like, share and subscribe to Red Devil Studio, follow us on Twitter or United X and smash that notification button for latest Manchester United news. So let's just talk about problem. I haven't posted a video for one, but I thought his comments were very, very interesting and very, very damning, damning, sorry, of Solskjaer and United. So basically, yes, Fred basically does an interview with DeSolo. It's a YouTube channel. I'll post a link in the description to the video. And basically, and I just, and I quote, these are the quotes that come from the interview. Fred basically admits that the Red Devils currently have in quote, lots of problems. Um, he says, we are lacking a, a lot right now. First of all, we need to figure out things on the pitch. We are lacking creativity, especially in midfield, Fred said. So, and that's for playing as a midfielder. So again, this is something that um, Manchester United fans have been saying over and over again because of, yes, we've had injuries in Pogba uh, and Matomani, but, you know, the fact that and obviously we signed Bruno Fernandes, which will hopefully help with that. But the reality is that he's, 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 he's mentioning something that fans have been saying for a while. Now let's just continue. Um, he said, we also need to improve as a group. Our group lacks the sticking together mentality of a lot of problems. This is very, very damning because we always hear from the camp of social, everyone is fine. You know, like everyone, you know, it's together and say it's nice, it's positive, positive is there. It's like, you know, we sacked Mourinho a few months, uh, you know, this time last year, a few months back, so probably last, um, last, last December, um, because the the culture at Manchester United, the dressing room was toxic. He was creating a toxic environment, and fair enough. But the fact that, despite the fact that social has come in, and there's initial positivity, it looks like that that positivity is not bringing together a a an era of. Um, working togetherness of teamwork or bonding anything like that it looks like there's different agendas going on I think that is, isn't helped by Solskjaer's love of British players I don't think it's helped by Solskjaer's bias towards so, other players uh, so so this is again damning um, that we don't have a stick into game mentality because frankly the amount of times I've seen Manchester United play this season we go down and we don't look like scoring a goal. Even under Mourinho at times, we, we, we could potentially make like late comebacks, you know, um, late comebacks. But we don't seem to be able to do that under Solskjaer anymore. Um, he then goes on to say, um, there are lots of discussions. Every group has this sort of problem, but ours has this. It's fair enough. Uh, vanity is also an issue and we need to stop this and just run on the pitch. Um, we need to stick... We need to stick a goal inside our minds, focus on it and go forward. And then lastly, we need to be on the same page. And today, some players have different objectives. There are players that just want to solve problems alone. And this is wrong. So, very, very, very damning words from Fred, in my opinion. Um, you know, especially the last, the, last, the last quote where he says, Different players have different objectives. What different objectives? The objective should be to win at Manchester United Football Club, to play their best. And the fact that different players have different objectives, um, you know, that he's saying that there, that, you know, is, 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 qu is quite worrying, actually. The fact that he's saying that we need to stick a goal inside our mind. Like, there's no... What, what do you mean that you, you don't have a goal? Like, we already, as fans, are saying that you're, the goal this season should be to get into the top four, to get Champions League football, to win a trophy. Those seem to be legitimate goals. So the fact that they don't seem to have a fixed goal in their minds is very damning of what's going on at Manchester United right now. The vanity issue. Vanity is also an issue. My goodness, we've known this has been an issue at United for quite some time. And the fact that Fred is saying that vanity is an issue. He said we need to stop this and just run the pitch. That people have their own egos. We've known this for a while. And, and this is one of the reasons why I think that it's going to be difficult when, if Pochettino wants to come, we need a coach to come and who can manage that. Because frankly, Pochettino, I think one of the reasons why he, he, he got sacked from Spurs 
was because a lot of his players turned against him who had those egos. He couldn't manage those. I don't know whether he could come into United and manage the egos we have at a club when we're, be when we're paying them loads of money. But anyway, uh, let me know what you think about this, guys. I think this is very damning. I think that all Fred is doing is he's saying what we already know about what's going on at the club Manchester United, the damning issues at Manchester United Football Club. But the reality is, much like David De Gea, Fred will probably be disciplined in some capacity for his comments. Um, and, and we won't hear, hear the rest of it, which is very, very, very sad. Um, thanks to everyone who's watching. If you're new to the channel, please like, share and subscribe to Red Devil Studio. Follow us on Twitter, United X, and smash the notification button for latest Manchester United news. Have a nice day, guys, and cheers.